you are on the same playing field with a minister, whoever. God does not care. <laughs> he does not care if you come to church um, once a year because you became a mom. <laughs> Um, or that you went to church every twice a week for the last year. He does not care. Hello and good morning or good afternoon wherever you are or evening. Okay, so we are in Romans chapter 3 and we're going to finish Romans chapter 3 today and hopefully be able to move on either tomorrow or next week to Romans chapter 4. All right, so one thing you need to know about God is he does not repeat himself for kicks and gigs. When God repeats himself over and over again, he's trying to tell you, listen up my child, I'm trying to tell you something that's going to bless your life, that's going to help you become more like who I've called you to be, who I've created you to be, and I've made you to be. So. In Romans chapter 3, from verse 21 to 26, he repeats the word righteousness multiple times. One, two, three, four, five, six times is what I see in those verses. How crazy. And that's where our remark is from today. Let me open my notes real quick to where it is. And I'm just going to read off to you what the Lord taught me. Number one, righteousness of God has been revealed. Now, there are people always like, God is hiding himself from me. God is not really speaking to me. I don't know what it means to be living right, living godly. The truth is, God has revealed his righteousness to you. I don't know who that's for, but uh, get it together. <laughs> Number two, righteousness of God is through faith in Jesus. Now, if you watch my last video, I talked all about how everybody is on the same playing field. No matter what you came from. You, as long as you have faith in Jesus Christ, you are on the same playing field with a minister, whoever. God does not care. <laughs> he does not care if you come to church um, once a year because you became a mom. <laughs> um, or that you went to church every twice a week for the last year. He does not care. Where is your faith? It's in Jesus. That's all that matters. The righteousness of God is through that faith. Ooh, so deep. Number three, righteousness of God is demonstrated when God presented Jesus as an atoning sacrifice in his blood. Now, I said that kind of fast, so I'm going to say it in a different way. The reason why you have the righteousness of God is because Jesus has done the work of sacrificing himself. Go watch the last video. I talked about this as well. Next, righteousness of God is shown in his restraint when he passed over sins previously committed i literally talked about this in the last video as well basically before you came to christ all the things that you did the things that you feel bad about the things that you have remorse about you keep reminding yourself things that you feel like you can never live down or you have to make up to god for god doesn't care that's his righteousness being shown towards you before you came to Christ. Next, righteousness of God is further shown at this present time, now that you're in Christ. So that, you're, so that righteous Jesus, right? He is righteous. God, Jesus himself is righteous. Can declare you as righteous for having faith in Jesus. So basically, this is what God did. God, being the righteous God, right? Told Jesus that I have made you righteousness. So anyone, the moment they believe in you, in your name, they become the righteousness of God. Now, the question is, what is righteousness? We'll continue in the next video. God bless y'all. Study the word of God. You don't have to wait for me to come and tell you more about righteousness. You don't have to watch my videos to know what God has in plan for you. God loves you. He's constantly talking. So you just, you know, let God speak to you. I don't know where you are in the world, but where I am in the world, there was snow in my backyard two days ago, and now there is absolutely none. <laughs> so when I go for a walk with my kids, and I hope you do something fun today, and as you walk around and you see the sunshine, 
or maybe you're dealing with snow god is speaking even through nature watch the two videos from last week on that one all right yeah bye god bless you